Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If it's your first time tuning in, we appreciate you. Hope you like what you see. Good God, I probably should have trimmed my beard a little bit. Ooh, that looks like, yeah, there we go. We've been working hard, had not had time to shave, do nothing. Great video today, but let's get back to the beginning. Uh, if it's your first time tuning in, man, we appreciate y'all. Hope you like what you see. And if you do, maybe leave us a comment down there in the old comment section. Or a big old thumbs up. Love those big old thumbs ups. A uh, subscribe would be nice. Doesn't cost a dime. And we appreciate them. And all our return viewers, guys and gals, we appreciate y'all so very much. All right. Well, today's video. Been working on this thing for a while. If you guys have been following along, uh, been getting some good compliments on the on the build so far. So super excited to be able to reveal this to you. That's right. We are done with the coast to coast muscle car build the 67 charger um we'll go over it a little bit with you in the video uh, after the introduction and the uh sponsors but basically uh it's done <laughs> been a pretty productive weekend um got the um uh turkey shoot build done inside the time frame started on it on thursday wednesday night at midnight and finished it up yesterday so excited about that one and uh, we'll bring you that. We'll bring you a little quick video on that. Maybe do a short or something with that. Um, really cool little build. My first tank. But uh, my first tank. My first 172nd scale. My first attempt at weathering. A lot of first times. But if y'all didn't get involved with that, check that out. The uh, turkey shoot. It'll come back around next Thanksgiving. Um, really cool deal. Uh, Rob and the gang over at my Model Insanity Podcast. They host that. Uh, great times. Uh, we'll get into more of that when we do our video on the tank. But back to what's important, the 67 Charger for the Coast to Coast Group build. Man, we, uh, we're excited about getting this one done. Uh, I thought I was done done until I flipped it over and was taking pictures of the chassis and realized I haven't done the exhaust. So uh, don't pick on me too bad about that. We'll get the exhaust put on it. Probably just run something out behind the front tire and uh, got some aluminum tube we might use or whatever. We got, we got a whole bunch of different ideas, but uh y'all check it out i hope you like it but before we get there let's be sure and hear from our awesome sponsors scalefinishes.com icemancollections.com uh when you go check those guys out be sure and fill up your cart with their awesome products at iceman collections you're going to put in outlaw 10 in the discount code get you 10 percent discount and same way with scalefinishes.com for all your paint and paint supply needs uh load up their cart load up your cart with their products and put in outlaw 10 at the bottom and get you a 10% discount from those guys. So let's uh, hear from our sponsors, and then we'll jump right into the video. And we got some still shots at the end of it for you guys, too. So hope you enjoy it. So there it is. The 67 Charger for the Coast to Coast Muscle Car Group build. <laughs> I've been working on this thing for three months. Super, super happy with it. Um, starting with the paint, it's um, apple red on the bottom, granite gray on the top. Uh, you'll notice on the hood, we did do the hood the Hemi style with the Hemi hood and left it the flat black paying tribute to the uh, Kudas and I think maybe the darts they did that with. Uh, the wheels, or the paint came from scale finishes. Again, apple red, granite gray. Uh, it's a Revell kit. Started out as an MPC kit, and then I screwed up the paint. So uh, now it's uh, Revell body anyway. The chassis is a V5 chassis from Iceman Collections. The wheels are from my good friend Jason at KRD. Uh, other than that, it's really stock. There's no modifications to the body whatsoever. Uh, the chassis obviously has got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, we'll take some still shots and uh, show you those at the end of the video. But really, really happy with it. Uh, honestly, it's... Uh, Thus far in my not so illustrious career, it is probably my best car, certainly my best paint job. Got a lot of help and input from guys like old Tom, uh, 
King Sparkles Brad helped me out a bunch with uh, information and proper tools to use. I still got, I mean, you can see it in the light. It's still not perfect, perfect, but doesn't look as much like a golf ball. <laughs> Maybe looks like a worn golf ball now. Uh, I've got the camera on a stand, and it's going to be difficult to see down inside of here, but now I get my big old club arm in the way. I got all kinds of lights to shine on this thing so you guys can see it. But uh, can't really see the motor that well. Again, we'll do some uh, still shots at the end of the video. But uh, the interior, uh, it's been tubbed in the back. And the uh, drop-in ramp, according to Jason, says it's a skateboard drop-in ramp there in the back, if you can see it. Uh, the seats are from VCG. The tachometer is from VCG. The shifter is from VCG. Uh, all great stuff. Love their stuff. Um, the seat belts are from MCW. So we've got a hodgepodge of stuff in here. The motor is a um, Helifant from our good friends at Iceman Collections. Uh, Joel hooked us up with that motor to put in here. Uh, if you can see the uh, master cylinder back there, um, that is a VCG. Again, we'll have some good pictures. The uh, uh, MSD box is a MCV, but I got to get all these abbreviations right. But it's kind of a hodgepodge of different stuff, kit stuff. And 3D printed stuff. Super, super, super happy with it. Been getting a lot of compliments on both the stance and at least the color combination. Again, you see there in the light, it's not 100%, but it is much, much better than anything else I've produced. So I'm super happy with it. I see my uh, my personal skills growing from taking advice from everybody and yeah, trying to learn and get better and step up my game. But again, there it is, y'all, 1967 Charger. Uh, we'll get some good pictures of the chassis in there, some good pictures of the motor in there here at the end of the video. So this will be it for me for now. As always, y'all be good, be kind to each other, be safe, and keep on modeling.